Good morning. Hey, hey. Welcome back to your house. Hello my lovely people, welcome back to another exciting episode of Yara to you. I'm Miss Tina and you're joining me for What's That Sound? So, can anyone remember the two hints from the previous episode? The first one is, it's the first month of the year. And the second one is, it's an animal with a really, really, really long neck. So, the words for today are... January and giraffe. So January, giraffe. And if you got that, random thoughts. I'm so proud of you. So January and giraffe. So I'll give you a few seconds for you to guess what sound these two words have in common. All right. Time's up. So, the sound for today is, drum roll please. J, J for January and J for draft. You can see the J sound R spelled differently. The J in January is J and the J in draft is a G. So, J, January, J, J, draft, G. So, remember that for the next time you're reading, writing, and, of course, spelling. So, I'll see you all soon. I'll give you a few hints for the next episode. The first one is, you use this to get directions. And the second one is, it's one of your five fingers. So, be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye now! day to you. My name is Miss Elizabeth. Welcome to Literacy Skills for Life. In this tutorial we will look for three things that a visitor should know when they visit your community. Some ideas for you to research. Who are the important people in the community? What sporting facilities are in the community? What is the history of your community? What education facilities are in your community? What are some interesting things about your community? Or what health facilities are in your community? Open a Word document and call it the name of your community information for visitors and save it in your community folder. Open a Google page and search for your community. You may see one or more pages with information about your community. Select one and open it. Sometimes the information is hard to understand, so here is one way to make it easier to find what you need. Use your cursor and highlight the information. Copy it and copy it onto the Word document. Select All and change the font. I like Comic Sans at 14 points. You can change the text colour and if you click underline two times, you can remove the underlines from your document. And save your document. Now go back to the web page and repeat these steps. You can continue to search other pages to find more information.
remember to save your work. Well done, you have completed the first part of the tutorial. So in art this week, um, we've been looking at doing some landscapes, um, some landscape drawings and paintings using uh, different materials. So the first exercise that we did this week with the Year Sevens was um, using uh, pastels, chalk pastels, to create a landscape drawing on black paper. And we used um, different marks to do this. So we drew on our, um, our, our mark making. So um, uh, you can see from looking at this picture that there's many different ways that you can make marks with um, these chalk pastels. You could do some um, little dashes, um, or you could um, use your finger to um, blend the pastels and create that kind of smudging effect um, around the moon um, or on the mountains. Um, or you could use the pastels on their side um, as well as um, using the point of the pastels. So um, that was one of the first exercises that we did this week, uh, doing a landscape drawing using um, these chalk pastels on black paper. And then secondly, um, we, um, we did a landscape, but we used the watercolour paints. So in order to do that, um, we had a practice first using the watercolours, and we did a really simple exercise um, just by drawing shapes, uh, like circles. Uh, it could have been circles, triangles, or it could have been a combination of different shapes. And then by overlapping some of those shapes, you create shapes in between. And we just got really familiar with using um, the brushes. So we tried to um, um, get a little bit more steady with our hands and, um, and colour in these different shapes. Um, so that was the first exercise. And then we went on to do um, this landscape here um, from a, um, a video. Um, and that was done in different stages. Um, so first of all, we painted um, the, um, the yellow part there, the sunset, um, the sunset sky, and then the blue. Um, and then um, we had to let it dry. And that is a skill in itself. Um, we looked at some of the mistakes that students sometimes make when they use watercolours. And often one of those mistakes is that they don't let their paper dry fully before moving on to the next step. So with this one, we had to let the background colours dry completely before we started painting the mountain and any things in the foreground and the birds. So um, we had a go at doing that one um, and, and we had a go at doing this one in, in pastel. Um, this was um, uh, Dexter's work in 78A. He had a go at using um, mark making um, with pastels to create uh, this landscape that we did in class and he did a really good job. I was really proud of that. I think you've used a bit too much paint on your sky. It's really like um, uh, a lot of paint where the paper dry. So before I painted the grass on there and the mountain, I did call it a card.
Dakota, how many points did you get? Um, 171. Whoa. How do you, how do you, what's your secret? How are you so good? I don't know. <laughs> Year 9 is value Alice Springs history. Students complete their bronze medallion. A reflection on reconciliation week. Go the Billy Cards! <laughs> Good morning, I'm Kesley Nish with Yara News. During this term, the Year 9s have been visiting various historical places in Alice. This has been part of their integrated studies. The Duke of Ed Broadcasting crew have been filming the Year 9s and have put together a snapshot of their visits. Check it out. Filming by Jinika and Kamala, Andronica Stewart and Georgina Williams. On Tuesday and Wednesday last week, 10 students did a bronze medallion course on life-saving people in a pool or in a lake or a river. A great job for all pe the people that passed the course. All of us did a lot of swimming. We did four laps of backstroke, four laps of freestyle, four laps of breaststroke, then four laps of survival backstroke and four laps of survival side stroke. All of us were tired after doing the swimming. Then we did first aid. After that, we learned about four different types of swimmers, like weak swimmers, then there was injured swimmers, unconscious swimmers, and non-swimmers. Well done to all of those involved. This report was written by senior student Aaron Palmer. As part of our reconciliation activities, the Year 7 and 8B class focused on what the term reconciliation meant and what all Australians can do in order to remember and honour all Indigenous people who experienced the terrible events that were part of Australia's history. Students completed Aquatics created their own reconciliation flags and developed footprints to show their support of this special week. Their reconciliation wall is a symbolic way to remember and reflect on this important time. Now with sports, I am Tamika and I am Carol. Last week, Clontarf had some of their academy members volunteer for the Fink Desert Race Media launch. It was a great opportunity for our fellows to build their confidence and meet a lot of people. Mayor Damien Ryan was very pleased and the official tests 
think Desert Ray's Facebook page was liked by 400 people with several comments of praise from the public. Go Yurara, a great achievement to all the fellows involved in the great big card race. Before the races, teams did a fantastic job of presenting their vehicles to judges and special guests. It was noted by the judges that teams really took pride in what they built and showed great spirit speaking about it. From the first race of the day, it was all go. The crowd was excited, the competitors were full of energy, and the organizers had their hearts in their mouth. Each team had three races, and many came down to a card length with Mayor Damien Ryan, adding much excitement waving the flag. Urara's Storm Riders put their shaky start behind them to take out the gold medal race and the title of 26 Clontar Philly Card champions. Well done, First fellas. Be Overall, it was a fantastic event which brings everyone together. A big thank you to everyone who helped along with as it added to making the race such a fantastic fun time. This is our last TV episode for this term, so let's check out what else has been happening over the past 11 weeks. That they wish to miss Robin. Everyone belonged. No matter where you We can expect a high 32 degree An educational workshop with the tour guides. Oh. You can't brought another name of it. Um, My mother was a hard worker and well respected. Nigel Bloomfield had plenty of football and beach. And this is the weather. Today we can expect a high of 27 degrees. New Girls Academy, let's take a look. Girls this is Miss Emery. This is Miss Emery. CMS, you are one. Well done, fellas. 33 degrees, that's weather. Can you tell us where you are from and what your police station? Misha, but you are Visit the police station as part of the community for Sunday the same. Monday, a high of open weekdays from 10 a.m. to class is at the fire station. Back to high of 23 degrees. Saturday to Sunday, pretty much the same. So, ladies and fellas. Today, the amazing year our athletics carnival commences. Teenage band, important, stay strong, keep learning. Three behind 27, defeated by center high of 24 degrees. Saturday 23, this is an exciting mix of skills. Come next week. Bye. See ya. Late <laughs> 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 like team. Mr. McLean continues with beta tests. Stay. Bye. Bye. Black people white people are swimming in the same pool. <laughs> <laughs> Time go and finish off the game. Five degrees. Let's check out what's happening. Vast art space in Heli Crescent, Alice Springs. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is ex excellent. Wow, what a school that was. Hi. Clanta <laughs> <laughs> Fellas have their first Billy Cut race. I've completed the weekly music shows. As the academies came to Yarrow College. For the West Farmers, we can expect a high of 19 degrees Saturday and Sunday. There will be heaps of activities and the... Bye! 
Now to whether he's taken. Today we can expect a high of 22 degrees. Saturday and Sunday 16. Monday a high of 20 degrees. That's weather. Let's check out what's happening in Alice with Rihanna. The Alice Springs Beanie Festival 2016 is coming and it's celebrating the 20th Beanie Festival. Spirit of the Land. You can check this out from the 24th of June to the 17th of July at the Araluen Art Center. That's your news for the 17th of June 2016 and for the term. A big call out to Elliot, Bear Creek, Hammondsburg. We will see you very soon. Have a safe and fine holiday. Look after yourselves and your family. Before we go, a word from our principal, Roger Ashcroft. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Wishing all of you a relaxing holiday and look forward to you all returning next term. Remember, we start back on Monday, the 25th of July. In 2016. If you have any queries, please ring us and uh, make arrangements. But have a fantastic holiday, a safe holiday, and enjoy yourselves. Hello, my name is Kerry. I come from Elikron community. I speak Walpuri and Western Naranda. I want to share a word in Western Naranda. Wada means hello. Hello, my name is Silvani. I come from Elikron community. I speak Walpuri and I want to share a word in my language. Ngochu means good. Hello, my name is Penny. I come from Fink community. I speak Yankunjari language. I want to share in my language. Palya means good. Hello, my name is Shawa. I come from Hemisphere community. I speak Western Aranda language. I want to share a word in my language. Mara means good. Hello, my name is Lashwis Hall. I come from Minyari community, I speak Creole. I want to share a word in my language. Guroi means good. Hello, my name is Kieran James. I come from Basque community. I want to share a word in my language. Good follow is mean good way. Hello, my name is Derek. I'm from Minyari community. I speak Creole. I want to share with in my language. Good bindi, it's me now. Good feeling and happy Nero day. <coughs> we want to share a word with you from the top end. Yo, mind map means everything is good. Hello, my name is Lucasta. My name is Costella. We are from Robinson River community. We speak Gara language. We want to share a word in my language. Bariwa means goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Ernest. I come from Pupuana community. I speak Lucha. You mean yes. Hello, my name is Courtney. I come from Pine Creek. I speak Kunwingu. I want to share a word in my language. Bobo means goodbye. Hello, my name is Joella. And I'm Tamika. We, we come, come from Taran community. We, we speak Ayala. We, we want to share our word in our language. Mora means good. Hello, my name is Kiana. And I'm Shawan. 
We come from Amos Bernaria community. We speak Western Islander language. We want to share a word in our language. Mara means country.